Now, Shalom, giving all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Badash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone for teaching this truth that's gone all around the earth. Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. This is your brother, Atiz Wan Baya. I'm going to bring a quick uh, lesson this morning as I prepare to leave the house. Um, but the spirit was on me to do this lesson, all right, on what? Eternal life, man, because ultimately that's our goal is that uh, we'll lay hold to eternal life, you see. And uh, we run through some some scriptures here and, you know, try to get this done as quick as possible. But still want the lesson to be edifying, okay? And we have this understanding through the scriptures that um, by adhering to the things that the Most High has set before us as a nation, okay, that... If we do what he said to do, then we'll have life, okay? In which we didn't do all those things and went into various different captivities and um, as, as the Lord saw fit, he sent his son to die upon the cross for our sins, right? That we may, what, again, gain eternal life through Yahweh Shai. Okay, so quickly, this is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 15. And it reads, See how I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord Yahweh, thy power, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord Yahweh thy power shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto me this day that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whether thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. You see? So, the Lord set everything before us and we didn't listen. Right? So therefore, we fell under the curses, you know. And uh, through the Heavenly Father's grace, He gave us Yahweh Shai. Okay? And so when we go to the Gospels and we look up, Salaki, we look up uh, for an example, this young man. Who came to the house shy, who had all the things of the earth that a young man could have, right? As we read, he had many possessions. Okay. And so he wanted to know what must he do to gain eternal life. Alright. So we'll read a couple of uh, scriptures dealing with this young man. Okay, so this is Matthew. 19 and 16, and it reads, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right? And that's our goal. Right? To be with our Heavenly Father and our Savior. Right? Eternal. Forever. Okay? So going on, he said, And he said unto him, Yahweh said unto him, Why callest thou thee good? There is none good but one. That is the Most High. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Is that what is that not what we read in Deuteronomy? Right? To keep the commandments. And we know that in the Christian church, they taught us that, well, you under grace now. So the commandments and the laws don't apply. 
Well, that's not what Yahweh Shai is saying right here in the New Testament. Because they'll tell you that that was the Old Testament. That was the Old Covenant. Which that's not true. Right? We have to do the very best that we can. Okay, in this predicament that we're in. Right? Sure. You know. No, the laws don't save us. You know, we have the grace of Yahweh Shai for when we can't perform all of the laws that we're supposed to do and when we're supposed to do them. That's what his grace is about. And we'll get into that Lord willing before the uh before I close the lesson. So we'll go on here. This is uh verse 18. He saith unto him, which Yahweh Shai said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Right? What 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 is that? Okay, that's that's commonly known most of those as what in the Ten Commandments. You see? Alright, verse 19. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had what? Great possession. Right? So this guy was pretty well off. Okay? But the whole point is, you sacrifice everything that you have to preach this gospel. Okay, we'll get another account right here in uh, Mark. Okay, it says the same thing to the rich young ruler. All right, verse 17 right here, Mark 10 and 17. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeling to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I might inherit eternal life? And how shall I say it unto him? Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is the most high. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Defraud not. Honor thy father and, and mother. See, so you see it again. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these things I have observed from my youth. Then Yahweh shall behold him love loved him and said unto him one thing thou lacketh go thy way sell whatsoever thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come take up the cross and follow me see okay and he's and and he was sad at that saying and went away grieved for he had great possessions okay so the young man was more worried about his possessions, okay, than to follow the Lord, okay, and we'll get this other account as well, all right, so this is Luke 18 and 18, and a certain ruler asked him, saying, good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life, and how shall I say it unto him, why callest thou me good, none is good, save one that is the most high, thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, all these have I kept from my youth up. Now when Yahweh Shah heard these things, he said unto him, yet lackest thou one thing, sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. And when he, he heard this, he was very sorrowful for he was what? very rich you see so it's written a little bit differently and it gives you kind of a different point of view with some of the words right being having many possessions being very rich you know and so on okay but the thing is as Yahweh Shai taught you can't serve the most high and mammon okay but he also mentions the fact that what you're still supposed to be keeping the commandments all right these things will help you in living a proper life, if you will, Salaki. 
me see what did I want to get. Um, so it's very important from what the Lord gave us in Deuteronomy that we do our very best. Um, just I'll just get to the point okay um, uh, I want to be able to jump in at the right point let's just start at the top it's like all right this is Romans 2 and 1 and it says uh, therefore thou art inexcusable old man whosoever thou art that judges for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest doest the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of the Most High is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinks thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things and doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of the Most High? Yeah, you know, you basically judging people. And you're, you're being wicked and doing the same things and, and thinking that you can escape the judgment of the Lord, okay? In, in other words, you got to be righteous, okay? Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of the Most High leadeth thee to repentance, right? Because that's what it's all about for us now in this day and time is repenting and coming unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. What? So that we may lay hold to eternal life. But after thy hardness and an impotent heart uh, treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and uh, revelation of the righteous judge of the Most High. Salaki. Who will render to every man according to his deeds. Right? The Lord is going to recompense everybody according to their deeds. Verse 7. To them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek what for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. See, and that's what we're seeking for now, right? That's why we walk this walk of faith through the grace of Yahweh Shai, okay, that the Lord, uh, Lord willing, if we are of that number, chose us, okay? So this is... Uh, 1 Corinthians, we start right there at 15 and 50, and it reads, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither do it corruption inherit corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality, right? And that's what we're seeking for, all right? That immortal body that we may, we may live forever, okay? This is John 14 and... Let's just uh, start right there, verse four, uh, 13. And it says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. You see? So, showing another example, giving another example to keep the commandments of Yahweh Shai, right? Through the heaven, well, the heavenly Father, through Yahweh Shai. Okay, do the best that we can do. Okay, so that's just pointing to the fact that this is what's going to help us through Yahweh Shai gain eternal life. Okay, is doing what the will of the heavenly Father is. Okay, yeah, we have Him for grace, but that grace is not meant for you to just be wicked and 
break all the laws and act like it doesn't matter. That's that's not what it's for. Okay, so this is Revelation. Um, and I'll start right there at uh, verse 12. And it reads, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Right? And remember the young man, and the Lord told him to go sell everything, come what? Come and do the work. Okay? But he went away sad because he what loved the world he loved his possessions more than he loved the Lord. Verse 13, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Verse 14, blessed are they what that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in what enter into what eternal life what through the gates into the city right eternal life with the lord okay having new bodies that won't won't decay won't be corrupted right living forever that's what we see okay let me see i think i got one more here to, and we'll close it up yeah, this is Romans 6. Okay. And we start right here at verse 12. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Right. Because we know what? <clears throat> Breaking the laws, that's sin. Okay, and I might have to get that after this. Matter of fact, uh, no, we'll finish this and then I'll get that. Okay, because that's what sin is is breaking the laws, right? Transgression, the laws of the Heavenly Father. All right, so we'll go on and finish this out. And Lord willing, I'll remember to get that. Verse 13 Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto the Most High as those that are alive from the dead and your members are instruments of righteousness unto the most high. For sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law but under grace. Right? Because sometimes even in the law there was a penalty for certain sins that could put you to death. So again, going to the grace of Yahweh Shai, man, you know, that grace is not an opportunity for you to sin, but it, 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 you know, it keeps that heavy, heavy penalty from falling on you. Okay, we 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 may commit a sin, but we don't live in sin. You see, verse fifteen. What then shall we sin because we are under the law? Salakia. I'll read that again. Verse fifteen. What then shall we sin? Because we are not under the law, but under grace, God forbid. See, it's not a license to do it. You know, it may, you, you know, you may commit a sin, but you repent from it. Okay. Verse 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye, ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness? Yeah, you know, whatever you put your members to, that's what you become a slave to. That's what you obey. Okay? You you a slave unto sin, that's what you obey. Okay? And so you'll be unrighteous. All right? But if you do what you're supposed to do and be obedient, then you you're a part of righteousness. Okay? Verse 17, but the most high be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you right the new believers believe on this gospel and on this doctrine and are delivered being then made free from sin ye became the servants of righteousness I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh for as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to Iniquity unto iniquity, yeah, sin on top of sin on top of sin for years and years, right? Even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness, right? We've been reborn, 
through the Spirit. You've repented. You've changed. And now you don't do those old things no more. For when you were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. Right? When you were serving sin, you weren't. You were not righteous. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are not ashamed? For the end of those things is what? Death. Right? Remember, the Lord said he set life and good and death and evil. Right? To paraphrase it. But now being made free from sin and become servants to the Most High, ye have your fruit in unto holiness and the end, what? Everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High, which is, a hey, that's the gift that we have today, right? Is what? Eternal life. Through Yahweh Mashiach, our Lord. See? So that's what we're striving for, that eternal life through our Lord and our Savior. And I said I wanted to get one quick scripture. Just to prove um, that transgressing the law is sin. Here you have it here. Let me go ahead and highlight it. Right? And it says, what? Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. You see? All right. Pretty much that's going to do it for the lesson. I just wanted to bring this out, you know, since I've been meditating on it really ever since last night. I woke up way too early this morning um, to get myself ready, but I wanted to get this lesson done. So with that, I'm going to give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and others. A great millstone. Shalom on to the hopefully elect. See you all again real soon with another lesson. Lord willing. All right. Shalom on.